Hey good people, welcome back. This is Arthur Morris. In this video we're going to look at an application problem involving uh, solving systems of nonlinear equations. So here is just word problem, old fashioned word problem. It says the sum of the squares of two numbers is 32. So first of all, let's define our numbers. Let's call the first number. Let's let the first number be x. Okay. So let's just find our, num our numbers there. Then it says the sum of the squares of two numbers. x squared plus y squared equals 32. Then it says the product of the two numbers, which means multiplication, x times y equals 16. Alright, so uh, since I don't have x squared or y squared in my second equation, I'm going to use substitution. So I'm going to solve my equation number 2 for x. Which means I will divide both sides of the equation by y. All right, so now I can take that information and substitute it back into or replace x in my first equation with 16 over y. So my first equation, I had x squared plus y squared equals 32. And since I know that x equals 16 divided by y, I'm going to replace x with 16 over y. and that was squared because it was x squared so let's go ahead and square that 16 over y 16 squared is 256 and y squared is simply just y squared We cannot leave that y squared in our denominator, so we need to multiply both sides of the equation by y squared to clear that y squared out of our denominator. So if I distribute y squared times 256 over y squared, the y squares would cancel, and that gives me 256. And then y squared times y squared at the exponents is y to the fourth. Okay, so since I have this y to the fourth in my equation, uh, let's get everything on one side. I have y to the fourth and 32y squared. Let's subtract that 32y squared over to the left hand side. And then let's factor. Looks like a perfect square there. Uh, 16 times 16 is 256. Uh, negative 16 times negative 16 is 256. And negative 16 plus negative 16 is negative 32. So I can factor this. This y to the fourth will become y square. And then minus 16 squared. It's one of those uh, perfect square trinomials there. All right, let's see about solving it. Let's take the square root of each side. Let's move on up here. Okay, let's add 16 to both sides. Then again, we want to undo that square. So let's take the square root of each side again. So 
So y equals positive or negative 4. Okay, so let's find the x coordinates that goes with those y coordinates. So when y equals positive 4, I'm going to use my modified equation 2, where I have 16 divided by y. So when y equals 4, x equals positive 4 as well. How about when y equals negative 4? Substitute into equation 2 and find that x equals negative 4. So again, since we saw those in equation 2 there, I would encourage you to go back and plug those values into equa equation 1 and make sure that they make true statements. Alrighty, that's a wrap for this video. I hope you found it to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.